Okay, so this is a basically breakdown of my 40 gallon mixed coral reef fish tank. The tank itself is um, acrylic, 40 gallon tank, sea clear tank. Pretty cool how it's seamless on the sides. You can't see like an edge, like a sharp edge. Um, okay, so getting into it. Every tank needs water flow. That's what that does and that does. That's a return from the refugium. We'll get to that later. And that's um, the Hydor Coralia Powerhead, 425 gallons per hour. Um, most of my corals are still closed up, like that guy up there, and uh, that guy, that guy, that guy, him, my Zoas, my Acans, pretty much everything. But, so, essentially everything in here has its own little job the fish just there to look pretty I also have a flame tail blenny but he's sleeping right now hopefully he'll come out in a little bit um the fish look pretty hermit crabs like this guy right here eat all the leftover food snails like him he's a big snail eat all of the algae and whatnot plants like them and algae like that eat all the excess nutrients that are in the water as well as that sponge also does that, it's a, he's a big sponge he came on some of the rock that came from Fiji um, as did that little coral right there um, base, and also the live rock acts as a filtration system the rock, as you can see it's colorful it's, that's all the algae and the uh, bacteria that pretty much break down all of the waste and eat it all up um, also in my tank I have a snowflake mori eel. You can see all those little caves he built in there. They go all the way back. All those caves he dug out in there that goes into there. There's some of his food. He likes to hide his food. There's the flame tail blenny sticking his little oh he got scared. Uh there's the flame tail blenny. <sighs> On my wall of my tank, as you can see all these little green splotches, um, they're coralline algae. Those basically grow it's um a hard a hard shell algae that's like pretty tough to scrape off. Um, what's allowing the hard coralline algae, the corals, the regular algae, pretty much everything to live in the tank, is um the light. It's uh, four four bulbs, basically like pretty much fluorescent bulbs, that are um there's two blue ones and two white ones, that um the blue bring out the color. This is just the blue. The blue lights on, they bring out the color and let things glow a bit. As you can see, everything like really glows under the light. And uh these are the just this is just the white lights on. It's kinda yellow. That's just the tint. Um these lights are what allow everything to grow. It gives the energy, it gives the the basically everything, like the UV light. Everything the corals and algae need to photosynthesize and like reproduce. Um, every tank needs a filter, even though the rock is also filtration and the sand is also filtration. As you can see, bacteria and stuff growing in the sand. Um, every tank needs a filter, and mine is a special kind. It's called a refugium. Um, as you can see, the black box in the back is an overflow. It takes the water. It's kind of uneven. It takes the water. Uh, from the tank, brings it into this little box that's got a tube that you can see kind of back there that runs down underneath my tank into my refugium. The refugium has uh, a few separate parts. It's got the filter area, the actual filter, that uh, catches the particles and detritus. Detritus is a fancy word for uneaten food and junk and nasty stuff. That's why it's like nasty colors in there catches all that and uh, removes it from the water. The water then smoothly overflows into the main part of the refugium where there's, ro there's the heater, there's rocks everywhere, some plants, some more plants, some more coral that are just down there to grow better, a piece of food I put in there, and um, bunches of bugs. One second, let's see if we can see any bugs. <laughs> Oh, come on. Where are you guys? None in there. You can't really see them right now. 
there are thousands of these little bugs called amphipods. Oh, there's a few. One sec. See them? Basically look like little shrimp. What they do is they eat all of the uh, waste and basically all the gunk and stuff that floats down in there. Uh, that's why the tank, the glass is all pretty nasty and dirty. Um, bas they basically eat the food and waste so it doesn't dirty up the main tank up here. So it keeps this so nice and pretty all the time. Uh, so those eat the the waste and the food and stuff like that. And also feed the plants. These these it's called Catomorpha. It's a type of algae that um, lives in like large strands. I have a bunch over here. Also have some other bugs, bigger bugs back there. Um, it eats up all the nutrients like nitrates and phosphates and stuff, and um, keeps the the bad algae, the gross slimy algae, from forming. Um, and every so often you gotta remove chunks of that so that doesn't overtake down here. That's also a little piece of food I put in there. Um, and this big machine in the back, what looks like a tornado inside, it's called a protein skimmer. It removes all the nasty green junk and whatnot that the rest of the, the plants and fish and bugs can't consume. They're called inorganic solids. Um, basically like when you go to the beach and you see all the foam and stuff, that's what basically the ocean is being a natural skimmer. Uh, then the skimmer that produces bubbles, uh, the bubbles get taken out by this thing I made. It's called a bubble trap. Basically lets the water through in a thin area and catches catches it, catches all the bubbles. Doesn't allow them into the pump. This is the pump. Pumps all the water back up to the main tank through the return and allows the whole thing to cycle through. This is a really like simplistic form of my tank. It's like a really simple breakdown. Um, this, if you really want more detail, you can like look stuff up online. But this is just really simple version. Um, thanks for watching. Corals haven't come out yet, but you can see the rest of the stuff on my uh, channel. I'm pretty sure I've got videos of all the corals. If not, I'll put them up. That is also my new green bubble tip anemone that's kind of closed up and hiding under the rock right now. He, I just put him in the other day. I got him for five bucks, which is a steal. Normally they're a lot more. Um, so my flame tail blenny's out. One last thing before I put it away. He likes to hide in the rocks. He's camera shy. And there's my blue green chromis who's being really mean, and my flame tail goby. He was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Oh, one last, one last thing. My corals are, I got a red mushroom that's closed up, a Duncan that's closed up, an open brain coral that's kind of open, kind of closed, toadstool mushroom coral that's closed, it's all shiny because it's closed, frog spawn that's closed, torch coral that's closed, green star polyps that are closed, yellow star polyps that are closed, um, zoas that are closed, and Pally Thoas or button polyps that are closed. And there's my moray eel. He came out to play. Named him Mike the Moray. He's pretty cool. Just ate, so he's kind of hung, kind of full. Thank you guys for watching.